Well, thanks a lot, Bob. Let's talk Luis Severino. We saw the home runs. We saw how the Yankees won the game, but off significance was the way Severino pitched. Really, really good in my mind. As a velocity was there, he topped out at 100 miles an hour through all of his pitches. So, you know, and I said before, I think this version of Luis Severino is really interesting because he has a real weapon in his changeup that he throws to righties and lefties. He threw it a lot. It was very successful with it. He didn't get a lot of help with his defense, but all in all, Severi Sevi looked really good. So you think he's different and better than the Sevi we saw in 2019 before the injuries? I think so. I think he's evolved where he has a lot of confidence in his changeup. You know, previously he was just kind of gas and slider, and then to lefties an occasional changeup. He throws it a lot now, that third pitch, and to right-handed batters, which is the last piece of the puzzle for right-handed pitchers to right-handed batters to feature. It's a hard one to learn. He's starting to master it. Now, the key, obviously, is health. How's he going to feel when he gets up tomorrow morning? That's important. This guy has really been besieged by injuries for the last couple of years. We mentioned this in the pregame show. The bottom line is when he was healthy, he was one of the best pitchers in the game. That's not hyperbolic. That's simply the truth. And, uh, again, every time he wakes up, I'm sure he's going to do I feel anything. Yeah, how could you not, right? I mean, even a little scare in spring training, but you know, he's the number two starter right behind Garrett Cole, and that's a pivotal piece for the Yankees if they want to get to where they, they need to be. So, yes, Severino passed his first test with flying colors, uh, and, you know, that bodes well for the future moving on down. Now, once again, the Yankees feature, I believe, one of the best bullpens in baseball. Yesterday, they used eight pitchers in total. Today, seven pitchers in total. And once again, the bullpen was, uh, it was pretty much perfect today. It really was. If you think about a couple of walks, but six different relievers through six hitless innings. They just completely shut down the Red Sox and smothered them, and it was one after the other, and they all featured high-quality stuff, high-quality pitches, and when they were hitting the edges or just off the plate, Kyle Higashioka was making them look like strikes. So, yeah, it's a great combination. Now, one thing that you have to worry about, the Yankees start this season, and there aren't that many off days, and they're playing important games against good teams. Hey, uh, the, the Blue Jays coming to town for a four-game set right after the Red Sox leave tomorrow night, and you wonder, is this sustainable? Because the Yankees have always shied away from using a reliever three games in a row. So what do they have for tomorrow? Well, it's the first go, go round. You know, you know, every pitcher in the first turnaround is going to be about 75 pitches. It's just the way it is. But the good news is, is everybody's in the same boat. Very few staffs collectively are ready to throw 100 pitches. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's kind of a battle when you start banging heads. You know, with starting pitchers not going very deep. But the Yankees can go every other one. And, and if you're doing one inning at a time, then you can go back to back at times. But then you can get a day off in between and hope maybe the starter can give you 75 to 80 pitches and get five innings out of it. Uh, let's finish it off with Giancarlo Stanton. And usually a, a way for a Yankee who didn't grow up in the system to get the fans' adulation is to really dominate against the Red Sox. And that's exactly what Stanton has done. He's now homered against them in six straight games, including the postseason game last year where he tried to will them into the next round. It, it didn't work out that way. But uh, there's something to be said for dominating as a team that's your arch rival. Yeah, I mean, he should have endeared himself to this fan base at this point. I mean, that is exactly the formula. I mean, he is just all over the barrel of his bat. Everything he hits seems to be stung. You know, three batted balls over 110 miles an hour. He finally got the last one up, got a two-run shot. Really, the Yankees collectively swung the bat very well for only getting four hits. They had six batted balls over 110 miles an hour and eight over 100 miles an hour. So, yeah, they... They, they should have had more runs on the board, but sometimes uh, fate just intervenes, and the balls they hit hard were right at fielders. All right, so two games, two wins. Tomorrow, the Yankees will go for the sweep, Bob. 